today is Sunday, April. So today is Sunday, April 7th, and it's the morning of Jamaica Carnival. Got my girl Amy over here. Yes. We on our way to the Pegasus Hotel. They're gonna do our makeup and we're gonna get dressed before we hit the road. We got our costumes and our backpacks in the back. Morning traffic is looking chill, which is great. <laughs> we about to be lit when I tell you. Gonna have a good time, eat some good food, dance a little bit, you know, maybe wind up on somebody if they lucky, you know, mm -hmm. and all that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Period. I'm gonna let you guys see the entire day, what carnival is all about in Jamaica. This is my third Jamaican carnival. And honestly, I love Jamaica carnival. It's such a vibe. We're on the actual road, like we're walking on the road, through the road. It's a real experience that you have to, have to, have to try one day. Bop, 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 bop. So usually every morning of carnival, I am doing my own hair, own makeup and getting dressed. But this year I decided to use Carnival Glam Hub, which is a one stop shopping to get dressed for carnival. Now there was a whole bunch of people here in a long line. Things were pretty backed up, I'm not gonna lie. So I decided to get a massage and relax my behind to get ready for carnival before I did anything. And then it was time to do my makeup and I was honestly not in love with my makeup, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna work it out. Then it was time to take the carnival photos, which is extremely important to make sure you get your pictures before you get on the road and you look all hot and sweaty and crazy. So I took my pictures with this great photographer. He hooked it up and I was getting ready for seven hours. Now this is not typical and Glam Hub, I'm not sure if this is usually what it's like, but it took a very long time to get everything together. And I finally hit the road at 3 p.m. after getting ready from 8 a.m. So we were completely not close to where our band was. We were kind of lost and on the road by ourselves trying to figure out where is everybody? We had to walk through a lot of bands to even find our band. And the first thing we had planned was to get some food because we had not eaten anything all day. And you do not want to be on Carnival Road dealing with all the elements with no food. So we stopped at Zen Bowls to get some acai bowls and fill up our stomachs. So after we ate, we realized that we were about 10, 15, 20 minutes away from Exodus and the only way we could get there was to get on some bikes. We have places to go. And we made it safe and sound and reunited with Exodus, which is the band that we were supposed to be with the entire time. Life is good. After this, the party was on. We were having an amazing time. And I even ran into my cousins, Mabrina and Brashana. I was so happy to see them. Now at this point, it was just pure madness. We need to drink, we need to turn up, we need to get lit, we need to dance and wine and enjoy ourselves. We finally made it, ran into my namesake Jess on the road. We were outside and we was getting too, too lit. It was such a movie. And I really have to big up Exodus for the quality costumes. Not one feather came off and I've been through hell before. The vibes were right, the music was great, the drinks were really good, it was professional, it was safe. I really, really had an amazing time with Exodus, honestly. Then before we knew it, it was time to cross the stage. I couldn't believe we had made it to this part already, but it was that time. We were lit, having fun, drinking. Some guy tried to dance on me. I was like, eh, no sir. And continued to cross the stage. <laughs> 
crossing the stage is essentially the finish line of your day at carnival. All of the bands cross through this area and get judged on the costumes and the vibes. And before you know it, that means that carnival is done. So we went straight to the ultimate Jamaica carnival after party, Big Wall, where you can literally go in your carnival costume straight from the road. And no lie, no exaggeration, this was my favorite party that I went to in Jamaica. Like, I love the vibes, the music, the stage, the alien theme, everything. I feel like I was at a concert and not a party. It was that fantastic. And I'm telling you, Jamaica Carnival is a 12 out of 10 experience. You have to go. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh, and definitely bring your fan because it's hot as hell out there, no lie. And that concludes my video. Please subscribe, please like, please follow and comment. Every piece of action really helps you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching.